Hello, everyone, and welcome to Edge Pro. My name is Patty Warren. I'm going to be the host for today's video. Today, we're going to be talking about our eyeglass lens dashboard. This is going to be located in the optical overview. We have a page right here for our lenses. This is where you're able to find those KPIs or the top things that people like to track. On this page, we're able to see how many pairs of lenses that you sold. I can see that we sold uh, 1,520 last year, 1,500 this year, so we're actually down by 20 lenses, 20 pairs of lenses also. We can also see your anti-reflective coating stats. Uh, last year, we were at 75.4. This year, we're at 74.4, so we're down by about 1%. Same exact concept here with photochromics. We can see that last year we were at 24%. This year we're at 25%. So it's always going to compare this year to last year. Um, some of the other things that we can track on this page are blue light lenses and second pair sales and your progressive lens stats. One of the questions or a couple of questions I get asked the most is usually around blue light and second pair sales. So blue light lenses, just so you know, Edge Pro tracks in multiple ways. Primarily, it's going to be in our anti-reflective coatings. Edge's brain knows all of the brands of AR coatings that are out there. And based off that brand name, we know whether or not it has blue light or doesn't have blue light. Now, it can also track it based off photochromic lenses. You know, we know that the transitions, for an example, brand of product has got blue light in it. So it can also track it based off that. And if you happen to be doing, you know, blue tech or blue filtering lenses, we can also track it that way. So just know that we track blue light in multiple ways, but primarily it's going to be in your anti-reflective coating. Now, second pair uh, percentages is Edge Pro can track second pair sales that are done on the same day. I always tell everybody, Edge is, Edge is brain. It's not human. It can't quite figure out when a patient comes in on another day, just like we can't sometimes. You know, I always kind of use the example of John Smith comes in on the 1st, and he comes back in on the 15th, and he says, hey, Batty, I bought glasses a couple of weeks ago. I want to get another pair but sometimes I can't remember John Smith from two weeks ago. So that's what I mean by it's not really human. It can't go in and kind of look it up. But currently we can track second pair sales that are done on the same day. Don't necessarily have to be on the same invoice or same receipt, just has to be on the same day for Edge's brain to kind of comprehend that it's a second pair sale. But I can see that last year, kind of like before in the AR, you were at 14.5%. This year, we're at 12%. So we've got a decrease in our second pair of sales of 1.8%. One, one and, a, 1 and we can also check, check, track your progressive lens stats. Well, that was a mouthful. So um, progressive lens stats, you know, we're just showing that 29% of the time you're selling progressive lenses. That just means we're kind of a young practice. We've got a lot of single vision lenses that are out there. Now, I know several of you might have been watching some of the other videos, but we also have a buy plan. I always say our buy plan helps us uncover our opportunities by staff, just kind of lets us know, do we need any training? So clicked on the buy plan button here. We're going to use anti-reflective coatings just as an example. I can see that we're at 74.4% AR overall. Let's just say you had a goal to be, oh, I don't know, let's say 76% anti-reflective coatings. So when you come over here to your buy plan, you know, you're at 82% with IMED. So you've already reached that goal. You're at 77% with VSP. You're 77% with your private pay. You have more opportunities with Davis Vision to kind of increase your anti-reflective coatings than you do with your VSP and your IMEDs and your private pay. Now, you've also got some areas of opportunity here with the union plans and some of our miscellaneous, but I just kind of chose one. You know, an example, you know, you could tell your staff that, you know, currently we're at 74% anti-reflective coatings. Our goal is to be, say, 76 or 77% anti-reflective coatings. And you're able to say, keep doing everything you're doing with IMED, VSP, and private pay, and let's kind of concentrate on Davis Vision. Do you guys think we could get, you know, one or two more Davis Vision patients per week to get an anti-reflective coating? And in doing that, you can increase your overall AR.
So you could say the goal is to have uh, Davis Vision up here where our private pay is at. And just by doing that, you will increase this overall percentage. Can I admit, same exact concept here with photochromic lenses, but you can see that we're the highest with VSP. Our private pay is kind of the lower. So we would want to do the same thing with our photochromic lenses. You know, just concentrate there on private pay. If you could have one or two more private pay patients per week, get a photochromic lens, you can increase your overall percentages. So it's just easier to kind of take smaller steps than it is to take, you know, one big step all at one time. Now, the by staff button is where we're just tracking your staff for these key performances here. Now, this is one area that, um, you know, it does vary a little bit by the practice management systems. So I always kind of use my need help area if I want to know how my practice management system is tracking staff. When I come into the need help, if you scroll down just a little, we've got some PMS best practices. You know, let's just say that you're using OfficeMate. When I click on my office mate, it is set up here. Every one of them are set up the exact same. I've got tracking staff performance. So you can come into here and you can see there are two ways in which we track uh, staff. It's going to be the order by and the fit by button. So anytime you want to know how we're tracking it with your practice management system, tracking staff is what we're talking about here. Um, just come into the PMS best practices. And kind of minimize office made again choose your practice management system just like i did when i went into my office mate all of these are set up the exact same you just want to click on tracking staff performance um, every practice management system is a little bit different in how we track the staff but that's how you can kind of find out but the purpose in this page is really just to see you know does anybody need any training um, let's kind of take a look we can see that julian here is sold the most lenses um, Kind of there, we've got three main opticians, I guess, as we could call it. But Julian sold the most lenses. Julian is at 77% anoreflective. Julian, I think I passed. There we go. Is at 28% photochromics. We can see the blue light, the second pair of sales, everything about Julian sales. So if Julian, let's just kind of use our AR coatings just as an example here. You know, if Julian were at I don't know, 25, 30% anoreflective coding, he might need some training just to kind of understand the language that he would use to talk to a patient to explain anoreflective codings for him. So that's kind of what we mean by the staff buttons are used for training opportunities. Um, and the by plan is always going to be used to find our overall business opportunities. So again, this is in the optical overview. This is our lens dashboard. When you come in here, you'll default kind of to that main stats page. And this is where we're just tracking the key things about our eyeglass lenses. Hope this was helpful to you and have a great day.